Hello beautiful souls, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to talk about the number one personal year in the nine year epicycle, cycle, which are the yearly cycles that everybody experiences personally, one through nine, and it repeats itself over and over again. I'm a professional numerologist. I've been practicing professionally for the past four years, but I've done self-study for the past 14 years and I will help you calculate your personal year for any year, as well as give you insight on the number one and what's likely going to happen. So if you didn't, if you missed the calculation or don't really understand it, I'll put it in the description and there's also timestamps below as well. So the calculation is pretty simple. There are only three components that you need. Uh, you could just use your phone to calculate. So you take the day of birth, that you're, the day you're born, the month that you're born, and the year that you want insight on. So for example, for the day, I'm born on the 28th. So you take two plus eight in your calculator. Then I'm born on the in November. So I take in my calculator plus one plus one. Don't put equal yet. So, so far, my month and my days is two plus eight plus one plus one. Then I want to know what's happening this year, and this is gonna be uploaded in 2021. So I add plus two plus zero plus two plus zero. So what does that all equal? 17. And we haven't gotten the answer yet. The goal of numerology is to calculate until you get a single digit. 17 for me is not a single digit yet. So I take one plus seven from that 17 and that equals eight. So that means in 2021, I am the in the number eight year. If I want to know what's happening in 2022, then I just put 2022 in the calculation instead of 2021. So does that make sense? If not, look in the description below or you can Google what's your personal year as well. So now we can begin learning about the number one personal year. I have eight points to go over as well as some analogies for each year. So with the number one year, this is when you start a completely new book in your life, one through nine, the next nine years of your life. So whatever you start in the number one year, it's likely going to last a long time. The number one year is when you plant seeds, when there's new ideas, there's exploration, there's new paths, doors that you should be opening and that you should initiate. It tends to be a very goal oriented uh, year as well. They all about um, the self. So with the eight points, the first one, I wrote down divine masculine. So in the number one year, that's the year for you to express your masculine traits personally, professionally, in all aspects of life. And what do you think about when you think about masculine traits? And I'm not talking about man or woman. This, these are all traits that are within us. So for masculine, there are some words that come up as like action oriented, goal oriented, driven, ambitious, assertive, courageous, and um, the energy of initiating things. Uh, feminine would be receiving um, and nurturing and masculine is start new things. And the next point I want to talk about is there's going to be leadership opportunities for you in the number one year. You will not lack any of that. And it's all about controlling your own destiny. Like, where do you want to go? What do you want to do with your life? I would say this is the year to be selfish and to think about what you want. Because one one is all about the ego. Like, I, who who am I? What do I want? And so I encourage you to explore new directions, even present your ideas as well as don't be afraid to explore, take new paths, bring new things up, start new projects, even start new businesses. I see a lot of self-employment start in the number one year as well. Then the next thing I want to talk about is identity. So in the one year, it's all about the self, all about the identity and it's very much, let me, let me bring up all these words. It's, it's all about self-esteem, uh, self-motivation, self-awareness, personal development, and getting into uh, topics or subjects where you learn more about who you are and your own skills and your talents and your capabilities. I would say nurture that. Nurture the best in yourself in the number one year. On the shadow side, so like I'm going to be using the word shadow instead of negative 
negative and positive is very like po polar or like e opposites. Uh, so shadow side, um, I would say in the number one year is feeling very insecure, feeling completely lost in who you are, completely lost in where you're going. Um, and not doing anything with your energy because in the number one, number one year, people have a lot of energy, a lot of vitality to initi initiate. It's like it's the masculine energy. So you wouldn't be happy if you just held back and followed what everybody else was doing. That's quite unnatural in the number one year as well. So really work on feeling secure within yourself and your unique traits instead of being very competitive or just don't give in to like thoughts about oh I'm not good enough I'm not in fear I mean that's okay but work on work on that it's your you have opportunities to work on confidence in yourself then next thing I want to talk about is when wh wherever you are pursuing wherever you are following do not seek validation from uh, society and th but that doesn't mean do things that are like illegal or not really caring about ethics or values and doing whatever you want you can but it's all about unique expression and uh standing up for what you believe in who you are and what you want to do i would say seek constructive feedback from your loved ones and your friends um and don't let criticism really uh put you down there may be moments where you feel like that as well but you just know things come and go um, so this is your year to bring a lot of exceptional ideas to the table. Don't be afraid. Be courageous. Your spirit animal is the lion. So don't follow into social norms. The next thing I want to talk about how is how you're personally going to succeed. Um, I would say this is the year to really be independent. You will find a lot of moments, a lot of opportunities where you move faster if you work alone as well that doesn't mean completely ignore partnerships or group work it's just that you may feel like you want to do something else and you're going to get it done quicker if you do it by yourself so independence that is your year to uh reach new heights with that uh, as well as individuality that's very important as well i've been that's been like the flavor of the number one year um really own your power embrace who you are and the things that make you different it was, is what makes you stand out, is what makes you succeed. And also, the things that make you different, they tend to make people more popular in the number one year. So don't be afraid of uh, who you are in the number one year. I would say popularity is going to be a theme in the number one year. I'd also say put your putting your plans into action in order to personally succeed and to take creative risk. When it comes to the shadow side and you feel inferior, that's when you hold yourself back, when you repress your own energy and your own emotion and your ideas. That's not healthy at all. So I'd encourage you to take a creative risk. Any masterpiece that you want to create, any new ideas, any doors that you open, go for it. That's my biggest advice. Then when it comes to work. So you might find that there are situations that are uh, asking for you to solve problems for yourself or around your work environment because one is all about oh let's adapt uh oh there's this problem let's bring up a new solution and maybe we can make money off of it or let's bring up a new service so it's all about uh problem solving bringing new ideas uh, adapting is huge as well in the number one year then also work on your unique vision what what do you see uh it it's likely not something that everybody else wants to do like who who wants to do that anyway at the end of the day at the end of the day the number one year is not for you to feel safe and traditional that's more safe for the number four year so one is nurture your unique vision how do you see your yourself in the next nine years if people really think if you think that far uh then also creativity focus on creativity not competition because okay so I'll give an example of restaurant industry when i studied hospitality is good advice is not to focus on oh that restaurant there's already five restaurants on that street i just won't bother like i don't i don't want to compete but like do you yourself only eat at one restaurant or do you like variety and trying different restaurants 
So it's all about developing your unique self, your unique interests, your unique talents and skills for you to succeed uh, financially or professionally. And then when it comes to if you are into business or a business owner, I would say this is a year to uh, have wide sell, wide scale selling or like high cost, not high cost, high price, high value uh, selling and buying as well. I do see a lot of people get into real estate in the number one year. And also independence, individuality, I'm gonna bring that again. I see a lot of people get into self-employment in the number one year. Cause like, this is what I wanna do. I wanna do my own thing uh, in the number one year. Real estate, yeah, I mentioned that. Anything new with business, any new ideas you have, go for it. Uh, then last thing I wanna talk about is what you need to be aware of in the number one year. First thing, I'm gonna talk about isolation versus independence. How do I define this? So like independence is like you're happy to work alone, you're happy to have the space and the time to develop your own skills and talents and to understand what you really want or what you really want to produce. And isolation is like, I don't wanna deal with anybody, I don't want any group work, I don't want any help, no feedback, no criticism, I'm gonna avoid everything and put myself into this room and just work on myself and don't connect with anybody. That's like isolation and feeling lonely. There will be some moments where you feel like that, maybe misunderstandings as well on your path to create something new. But again, just know that'll come and go and of course you can explain yourself as well. I'd also say with your energy, find productive ways to express it. That could be through your creative work uh, or exercise or problem solving. So a lot of people have vitality, high energy in the number one year. You have to release it and express it regularly. Uh, otherwise, that energy, uh, it, you, if it's repressed or if you're in an environment that restricts what you want to do, that energy held in, that could lead to addictive behaviors, self-destruction, maybe illegal activities. Uh, yeah. And the next thing I want to talk about what to be aware of is uh, competitiveness. So I mentioned that before. Uh, this is not the year for you to be competitive because what are you doing? That's not a favor that you're doing for yourself. You're just comparing yourself to other people, but that's still following the crowd. So you got to really stand out. Don't be afraid of who you are in the number one year. You gotta be clear on who you are and clear on who you're, where you're going and then no one can stop you. So it's just like a surging river that your energy is gonna be in, like planting seeds. Um, last thing I wanna say, what to be aware of is to protect yourself from a small, uh, not small, low self-esteem or feeling inadequate uh, and those you those feelings are usually from oh I haven't had the experience yet so all you gotta do is practice. There's no time to judge yourself. Just practice your skills and talents and get constructive feedback from your loved ones and friends. So, and so that is the <laughs> insight for the one personal year. This is the year of reinventing yourself, new beginnings. So just know, just be conscious of what you start because they likely last. The next nine years um it's gonna last a long time be in your masculine self everything is gonna start revolving around you whatever you do initiate everything and then things will revolve around you so don't be afraid of who you are in the number one year so that is it for the personal one reading for personal year one let me know if that makes sense as well as if you can relate to it comment down below if you have any questions and also feel, feel free to contact me if you want a personal reading. So I hope you enjoyed this video and have a beautiful day. Bye.